Mark Marshall looks like he's pretty happy. Our referee Jesper Steentoft with his finger on the bottom. Oh, long pause there. You can hear the bikes bouncing on the rev limiters and they hit the first turn and it's Henriksen that's got there. Argy Bargy coming out of turn two on the opening lap, but it's Henriksen that hits the front. Round the outside is Nagel. He's done well there. A little bit of wet on the inside. Water down on the track with Nag Nagel coming through there. v lads Nagel. And Bamba back in third place. But Henderson out in front there, he's being pushed really hard there by Vilas Nagel in second place. Henriksen, who had a really desperately disappointing round in Melilla in his own country where he would have been very disappointed with that. Bamba back in third place has tailed off now. There's a bit of Dreas coming on strong, trying to force his way into third. Archie Bargy there through the last corner. And Henriksen, whoa! Oh, that's close. That is very close that indeed. Is close. So the graphic was wrong there. So Vlad's Nagel is now confirmed as the winner. Yeah, this has uh, got action written all over it, this one, Kelvin. Indeed it has. So Start Marshall just uh, making sure the boys are in the right spot. He moves away. Green light is on. Tapes are up. It's an even break. Tight to the first corner. Wall very tight indeed. How they all stayed up. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, Chris. Oh, fantastic. Panitsky's come charging and hit the front. Helston Braggs was up the inside. Round the outside is Gus. He's uh, managed to force his way in the second place. I'll tell you what, I really don't know how they stayed up there. It was very tight indeed. Versus Gus is chasing with everything he's got. Riding the bike really, really hard, but he just cannot make any ground up. Zarpanitsky once again showing great speed. We saw this in Sweden, in Melilla. And uh, he is producing some stunning performances here. And he moves on to six points and joins Sebastian Shostak at the top of the table. I just sense that Przemski is in the box seat here. I fancy his chances. Yeah, he's got to be favourite from the inside gate. Indeed he has. So heat number 12 takes up now. We're underway. Przemski gets there. It's a good start from him. Around the outside, Leon Flint working hard, trying to get himself into second place and does so. That's a good effort from the man from the UK. He's through. Let's ride so far. Przemski steady out in front. Back in third place, we've got uh, Vlad Nagel who's in trouble there, just running in a bit hot into turn number one, coming under pressure from Nikita Kowlins. But Przemski stamping his authority on heat number 12. This is good news. Failed to score first time. Next couple of rides, he's going to pick up a maximum score, six points, and all of a sudden, he's right back on track. The championship leader wins comfortably. Super ride from him, much uh, better ride from Leon Flint back in second place. These riders are going along well. They all, three of them, won their last ride. Przemski, Panitsky and Pedersen, winners last time out. Something's got to give here, that's for sure. Green lights on, tapes are up. We're roaring into the first corner. Przemski's gone wide, he's gone to the back. Up the inside, that's tight. Look at Pedersen coming around the outside. That was a really hectic first corner. Gotta say, Dreyer's done well to hang on to second place there. There were four abreast there. Up the inside now. It's tight. Oh, Przemski giving certainly uh, Panitsky a good shot there going into turns one and two. Panitsky coming right back in it. The big two around the back here. Pedersen has turned his meeting around with a change of bike. He's firing away out in front. Look at him go. Yeah, he will move on to nine points. He'll be... Uh, Safe for a semi final spot, but uh, the well, it's a bit of a shock actually for me to see Panitsky and Przemski at the back. Yeah, these two guys, Dre, are doing a good job there. He came off the inside gate, he's just about hanging on to second place. Uh, uh, Bastian Pedersen has really he's checked out all oh, Panitsky oh. now up the inside. That's a lovely move, he should be able to get up the inside there. Yeah, that's a big move for him. Superstar Pedersen's won comfortably, but that is some ride from Panitsky. He was in all sorts of trouble early doors, but Nazar Panitsky possibly with the ride of the night there to come through in his second place. It's all getting quite exciting now, building up. Tense times now for these young riders, that's for sure. Heat number 15, green light comes on. Tapes are up, and we're away. Gate number two has worked there nicely for Bamba. Better stuff from him. Round the outside is Anderson. Anderson just having to wind to roll the throttle off there down the back straight because Bamba slammed the door shut. This is much better for 
Bartosz Bamba, he hits the front. Mikael Anderson coming at him. Well, he just can't find any extra traction. Moved out a couple of times, but Bamba out front just keeps getting the bike down straight. Mikael Anderson now making a cutback. Is he going to get up the inside? He may well do. It's going to be tight. Super ride from Mikael Anderson. That bike working really well, putting his arms out. Certainly looked very threatening for some time. He gets the better of Bamba. And Mikael Anderson on his second bike. That was a good move and a great ride. Anderson right back in it. Three points, very valuable points. Smashing ride. Bamba looked much better, but could not resist the charge from the Danish rider, Mikael Anderson. So the championship leader here, Viktor Prashemski, gate three, with some big hitters on the inside two gates. What a moment for him. This is the difference between being world champion at under 21 or not. You do believe it is that important right now. Here we go. Heat number 19. Big time pressure. Here we go. Big pause. Przemski drops the clutch and he's gone there. Wow, what a way to respond. Round the outside. Here comes Knudsen. He has done very little here this afternoon. He uh, comes into second place, but Przemski held it all together there beautifully. He's out in front, coming through in the second place now. This Helstrom bangs up the inside of Knudsen, and out the back is Bamba. But for Przemski, this is just what he needed. Helstrom bangs is giving chase. Oh, a mistake there from Bangs has to turn the bike hard in the dirt. This is not going to be enough for Helstrom bangs Helstrom bangs riding overtime in second place. Bamba, disappointment for him. He's at the back. Tell you what, this is going to get very close indeed. Helstrom bangs, winding it on. Here he comes up the inside. One last blast through the final corner. No doubt about that. Przemski's had to ride defensively. He hangs on. And I mean, he did just have to hang on. He had a little cute look over his left shoulder down the back straight. He could hear Helstrom bangs coming at him. Poland have a rich history of success at this level. And they've got three riders through. They've got one representative here, that man there in the white helmet colour. They've got two down in semi-final number two. But uh, there's no doubt that Polstad and Panitsky on gates one and two will be tough customers. Here we go. Great looking heat, this one. Semi-final one takes up. Panitsky's made a nice start, but uh, got to say, Przemski's there as well. He's coming around the outside, but Panitsky's bikes work beautifully off that corner. And he hits the front down the back straight. Przemski now switching back to the inside. Polstad's back in third place with Hendrickson out the back. But this is good news for the man from the Ukraine. And Polstad's uh, winding it on. He's putting as much pressure as he possibly can on Przemski back in second place. Przemski's aware that he's there. No doubt about that. Looks like he's got it in hand. The man that really has got a nice, comfortable lead is uh, this man, Nazar Panitsky. Remember that name. He is absolutely roaring away here. He is dominating the race wins and the race times. And once again, he's into the 63-second bracket. Green light's about to come on. It's on now. Tapes are up. We're underway. They hit the first turn and crash it. Oh, that was tight. Nasty, nasty. That was a tough crash in the first corner. Yeah, shostak has gone down hard. So, uh, Shostak, who has been that's terrific that's so far that's this that's evening, and uh, that's the last thing he needed in the first turn of the semi. So they're both on their feet now, but a uh, bit of disappointment for uh, Sebastian Shostak after such a great display in his first five rides tonight. He will take no further play, uh, part here this evening, and that is a big blow for him. Who's going to make it? Well, for me, it's, it's who's going to come second. I think Krasik on the inside gate, as long as he gets clear around the first turn, ought to pull clear. Green light is on, tapes are up, and we're underway. Pedersen's missed it. Mikael Anderson's there in second place, but Krasik, as you uh, referred to, he's hit the front. Terrific effort from him. He's away down the back straight. Anderson threw in the second place. Pedersen's got... A big task now. Can he get the better of the youngster, Anderson, who's riding nicely in second place. Krabschik away out in second place. Once again, that bike of Anderson's got a lot of speed. It doesn't look very easy to ride, but by crikey, it's fast in a straight line. Lap to go, Krabschik out in front. He's done the business off the inside. And Mikel Anderson has turned his fortunes around. And some here.
looking like he's going to come through. And they're through to the final. Kramschik and Anderson. Bastian Pedersen desperately disappointed. He misses out. Anderson will double his points. He only had seven coming into the semi-finals. He's going to pick up a minimum of 14 here. How about that? Yeah, we've hardly mentioned him coming into this final, but uh, we've already seen so far this evening. His bike's working well. It's pulling hard. Yeah. If you can just guess this one right off the start. Who knows? Here we go then. The final in Riga. SGP2. Tapes are up. Away we go, and they're in their first turn, and it's Panitsky, he gets there. Oh, drama there. Kravchik has bitten the dust in the first turn. They're roaring on. Will we see the red lights? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, fear, fear for Kravchik there. It's all his own mistake. So we wait for the decision. No, the exclusion light's on. He's gone. Oh, that's disappointment for Kravchik. Yeah, Panitsky's dropped his only point in heat 14. He has looked pretty special tonight, and he's also able to do it from the back. I don't think he'll need to coming off gate one. Here we go then, second time of asking for the final. Green light comes on. Oh, oh Przemski just crept a bit on the start there. And it's Panitsky who hits the front. Anderson's around the outside, he's got pace, oh, he's on the inside. Comes. Oh, that's tight going into turns three and four. He's pushing on. Mikhail Anderson and Panitsky. Panitsky just about gets his nose in front at the conclusion of the first lap. Brzezinski was a touch nervous there. Moved on the start line, but Panitsky's away now. Yeah, Mikhail Anderson is a young man. If he'd have just been a little tougher on Panitsky, I think he would have been able to make his way through on that opening lap. Tell you what, he's carrying more speed. The bike's going forward. He's going to go past him. Here we go, then. Mikel Anderson coming on, Panitsky just about, holding firm out in front. What a battle it is in first and second. Look at this from Mikel Anderson. What a ride. What a ride round the outside. Oh, he's got it wrong now. Oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, big crash. Yeah. Big crash. Oh, that's that's a shame. Okay. That was a cracking ride. And it looks like Panitsky wins. Panitsky wins. Concerns for that man, he's okay. He's okay. Oh, he'd ridden his heart out there, Mikel Anderson. I really feel for the young man because that was a superb ride. Well, Nazar Panitsky has been the best man on the night consistently, you've got to say that. But Mikel Anderson, what an effort. He ends up on his backside in the pit gate. And Nazar Panitsky wins the second round of the SGP World Championship here in Riga this evening. Many congratulations to him.